Speak. There was no lie in Pippin's eyes. A fool. But an honest fool, he remains. He told Sauron nothing of Frodo and the ring. We've been strangely fortunate. Pippin saw in the Palantir a glimpse of the enemy's plan. Sauron moves to strike the city of Minas Tirith. His defeat at Helm's Deep showed our enemy one thing. He knows the heir of Elendil has come forth. Men are not as weak as he supposed. There is courage still, strength enough perhaps to challenge him. Sauron fears this. He will not risk the peoples of Middle-earth uniting under one banner. He will raise Minas Tirith to the ground before he sees a king return to the throne of men. If the beacons of Gondor are lit, Rohan must be ready for war. Tell me, why should we ride to the aid of those who did not come to ours? What do we owe Gondor? I will go. No. They must be warned. They will be. You must come to Minas Tirith by another road. Follow the river. Look to the black ship. Understand this. Things are now in motion that cannot be undone. I ride for Minas Tirith. And I won't be going alone. Of all the inquisitive hobbits Peregrine took, you are the worst. Hurry, hurry! Why did you look? Why do you always have to look? I don't know. I can't help it. I won't do it again. Don't you understand? The enemy thinks you have the ring. He's going to be looking for you, Pip. They have to get you out of here. And you... You're coming with me. Mary? Come on. <laughs> 